Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing some ways I've found to stay creative during the last year. It was quite demotivating to me at first, but eventually I figured I had to keep creative, if not my life would probably have become really really dull. So, here are some things that I've been doing. To get into the groove, I recently started using this app called Virtual Cottage, and I think you can download it off Steam. The really cute graphics lift my mood, and it helps me stay in the zone when I'm working on stuff. Recently, I started keeping a diary. It's one of those habits that really, really, really gets you writing, and it helps me process day-to-day -day events and feelings. I think it's also a pretty good record for my emotions, and as a writer, always looking to draw from my own experiences, this record has been really helpful. Online courses are something I've been finding really rewarding. I use edX because the courses are free. <laughs> I just signed up for one on Hong Kong cinema. I've also done courses on writing, literature, music, and I think I'll keep doing this. I've been doing random drawings and comics lately, so here's me putting the finishing touches on my first comic. I find drawing really fun, and it helps me keep my imagination active, especially when I do little random doodles on my history notes and stuff. This is me setting up for and taking photos. I think photography is such a cool way of expressing your worldview, and I'm glad I tried it out. I also got a sewing machine for my birthday, made a dress, and I've been altering some of my clothes. 
It's been really fun updating my wardrobe on my own, and though lately I haven't had as much time to do this, I'll be taking advantage of my school holidays to try and do something cool with the cloth my aunt sent me. Of course, I've also been reading, watching and writing, seeing how other people tell stories. That's the ultimate motivator for me creatively. I think what's most important is to find inspiration where you can and to make a habit of it. Let's all try to pull through this together and thanks for watching. Bye!